This video will discuss about DNA replication or semi-conservative method of DNA replication. The process by which DNA duplicate itself is called replication. Through replication, it forms two copies of identical to it. In eukaryotic organism, replication of DNA takes place only one cell in the cell cycle that occur in S phase of interface in the cell cycle. DNA replication through semi-conservative mode of replication. What is semi-conservative mode of replication? Both are daughter. This black color one is the daughter DNA molecules. One stand from parental DNA, red color one from parental DNA and another is newly synthesized. Activation of nucleotides. Four type of nucleotides of DNA. Deoxyribose AMP, adenosine monophosphate, deoxyribose GMP, guanosine monophosphate, deoxyribose CMP, then deoxyribose DMP. Are presented in nucleoplasm. All are presented in nucleoplasm. They are activated by ATP in the presence of enzyme phosphorylase enzyme. This result in the formation of deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate that is uh, deoxyribose adenosine triphosphate, deoxyribose guanosine monophosphate like that. So this process is known as phosphorylation. So this process, this deoxyadenosine monophosphate combined with adenosine triphosphate with the help of enzyme phosphorylase enzyme form uh, this deoxyribonucleotide triphosphate, adenosine triphosphate. This, uh, this process is known as phosphorylation. This process is known as phosphorylation. Next, uh, that point of origin, that initiation point, it begins at a specific point O here. This is the point DNA replication takes place. Where DNA replication takes place, it is also called as replicant. Where the DNA replication takes place, that name is called as replicant. In eukaryotic, there are several type of uh, replicant in eukaryotic cell means several type of uh, several replicant is there several point of origin in prokaryotic there is only one replicant prokaryotic means only one replicant eukaryotic means several replicant is presented at a point of origin this one at a point of origin enzyme and the nucleus mix that one of that stand of dna temporarily the nick occur in the sugar phosphate sugar phosphate backbone of that or the phosphodiester bond phosphodiester bond unwinding of dna molecules unwinding of dna molecules enzyme dna helicase operate by breaking weak hydrogen bond in that vicinity of that origin the stand of dna separate the stand of dna separate and unwind this unwinding is bidirectional bidirectional and continue as a y shape so this unwinding look like a y shape replication fork each separate stand act as template so it act as template the two standard uh, separated stand are prevented from recoiling prevented from recoiling rejoining by single stand binding protein by single stand binding protein so each separated stand act as template separated stand act as uh, template the two separated stand are prevented from recoiling recoiling rejoining by single strand uh, binding proteins this single strand binding protein 
remain attached to the both attached to both the separate strand so as it to facilitate synthesis of new new poly nucleotide strand so here new poly nucleotide strand synthesis will occur then replication fork the point formed due to unwinding so unwinding here that point formed and separation of the two strand appear like here y shape okay y shape fork is called replicating this this point this one name is called as replication fork synthesis of new strand each uh, separated strand act as a template each separate strand act as a template or mold for synthesis of new complementary uh, strand it began uh, with the help of small rna molecules called rna primer called rna primer rna primer get associated with the Three dash end of the template stand. Three dash uh, stand of the template stand attract complementary nucleotide from surrounding nucleoplasm. These nucleotide molecules bind to that complementary nucleotide on the template stand. Uh, A bind with D. Uh, that adenosine bind with the thymine. Guanine bind with the Uh, cytosine with the adenosine bind with the help of double hydrogen bond guanosine will bind with the help of triple hyd hydrogen bond so, so the synthesis of new complementary strand is catalyzed by enzyme dna polymerase enzyme the new complementary strand is always formed 5 dash 3 dash direction 5 dash 5 dash 3 dash direction then next leading and lacking strand what is leading and lacking strand the template strand this one is the template strand uh, with the free 3 dash with the free 3 dash and is called leading strand so template strand with the free 5 uh, free uh, three dash and is called as leading stand uh, leading stand template with the free five dash and is called as lacking template so free three dash is called as leading template free five dash is name is called as lacking template the process of replication always started at at three prime three dash and of template stand and processed towards 5 dash end so started from 3 dash then processed with 5 dash end at both the stand of the parental dna are anti parallel so both standard are anti parallel the new stand are always formed in 5 dash 3 dash direction one of that newly synthesized strand developed continuously towards replicating fork called leading stand so that one name is called as leading stand this one is leading stand so one of the newly synthesized strand developed continuously towards replicating fork is called leading stand another new stand developed discontinuously this one is the continuous way this one is the discontinuous way discontinuous away from that replicating fork is called as lacking stand next maturation of ozozoic fragment the dna synthesis on lagging template takes place in the form of small fragment is called ozozoic fragment name after the scientist ozozaki ozozaki fragment are jointed by enzyme dna here this uh, this discontinued here by using ozozaki fragment with the help of dna lysogenase enzyme this one jointed rna primer are removed so here already this end attached with the rna primer this one will removed 
RNA primer are removed by DNA polymerase and replaced by DNA sequence um, with the help of DNA polymerase 1 in prokaryotic and DNA polymerase alpha in eukaryotic. DNA polymerase 1 in prokaryotic and DNA polymerase alpha in eukaryotic. Finally, DNA kinase enzyme. Uh, kairase tofu isomerase enzyme form double helix uh, to form daughter DNA molecules. Formation of formation of daughter DNA molecules uh, at the end of replication, two daughter DNA molecules are formed uh, in each daughter DNA. One stand is parallel and another is totally newly synthesized one is from parental one is from parental and another one is from newly synthesized um, thus 50 percentage is contributed by mother dna hence it uh, described as semi conservative replication so one stand is parental and another one is newly synthesized so that 50 percentage contribution from mother Mother DNA, hence it is described as semi-conservative replication. So, in this video, we discussed the semi-conservative model. Point of origin. Eukaryotic have several replicants. Prokaryotic have only one. Thanks for watching.